Quality processes impact engineering change, which is why they're connected on the ARIS platform. Every problem report, like the one you see here, can be added to a corrective action plan, or you can just kick off a new one. Let's check the where used action first to see if this problem report is already being addressed by a corrective action plan. This valuable link between your engineering and quality teams comes configured with your ARIS Innovator install or your system administrator can tailor it to work the way your teams need it to. A corrective action plan in ARIS follows the 8D process. Here, the Quality Events tab shows us everything that's being addressed by this corrective action plan, our problem report, and a non-conformance report. You just search for and add related events right here. That way, if related quality issues appear in more than one place, you can address them with a single corrective action plan, which helps you avoid repeat work. You can open up each quality event to see attachments and other details. The nonconformist report, just like the problem report, is automatically connected with part information about it. That way, the quality team can see related 3D data, discussion history, and markup. This is really connecting the manufacturing team, the quality team, and the engineering team working on the design change. Addressing the problem in the short term with a containment action is the next step. At each stage in this corrective action plan, users select existing actions or just go ahead and launch new ones. Every action you pick will have a unique workflow that it follows. Each step of the workflow kicks off notifications to the next user or team, collects their sign-offs to verify that the step was completed, and logs that in an audit trail for you to view later. To complete the root cause analysis, ARIS Innovator comes with several out-of-the-box templates that you open up and fill out in Word using the Microsoft Office Connector, or you just add your own templates that will appear right here. When you find the cause, you add a link to it here. Just select a cause already stored in the system or create a new one in context. This adds it to the cause library and you can reuse it later. You'll see how in just a minute. Every quality item is created and managed as individual items in the table of contents or created right here in the corrective action plan. The next step is to add one or more corrective actions. Like the other steps, we just select one or we choose to add a new one. The last step is to assign a preventive action so this problem can be avoided in the future. The two preventive action items already listed here include a design quality document and an engineering change order. The design quality document, or failure modes and effects analysis, lets users complete quality planning right in ARIS Innovator. To ensure this problem doesn't happen again, we'll roll in a new cause to the failure mode overheating. It's the cause we just identified in the cause library, the poor quality fan. We just closed the loop from the cause of the problem to the quality planning document, which will help future quality teams design next generation products that will avoid this issue again. So we know they're connected because this little flag appears. Change the object you referenced elsewhere in the system and the flag alerts you that they're different and even prompts you to resolve the difference. This helps quality teams standardize their analysis and avoid redundancies where different wording actually points to the same underlying cause. The last step is to communicate the quality issue to engineering with this engineering change order, which will follow the steps to release the change a replacement fan. The last video in this series will show the complex workflow for an ECO, including document changes managed in a sub-workflow.